Whoever you are, you have a way you look at and understand the world, a lens, a filter, a funnel through which you make sense of reality. Now, some of this is delivered, conclusions based on study or personal experience. Most of it is probably reflexive or instinctual, belief patterns shaped by your culture and by your influencers. A worldview is a set of beliefs and assumptions and values which come from whatever big story you believe about the world. And this big story that you believe produces individual and group action, which is what we call culture, the way we make sense of and interpret the world. The Christian worldview is big. It's God's story to us to explain reality. God gives us a worldview, a lens, a window into past, present and future and the tools to understand it every story has a plot a basic synopsis here's one way to understand god's story in the christian scriptures the bible is about god's promise to send his only son jesus our king to choose and rescue a special community to be forever with him in his coming kingdom now there's a lot there. I'll sketch this out in future videos, but now you have something to grab hold of. Number one, there's a promise. Why the promise? What's it for? Why do we need it? Who is this God who gives it to us? Number two, we hear about a son named Jesus, who's also our king. Who is he? In what way is he our king? How can we know him? How can we meet him? Then we hear a bit about God choosing and rescuing. This implies we're in trouble, we're in bondage, that we need to be rescued from something. Jesus came to rescue us from all of that. How did we get in this position? And why don't we see our situation for what it is? Then number four, we see a special community. Communities coalesce around a common vision, idea, or ethos, around a shared value or an ultimate truth, a shared allegiance. A Jesus community is about something, but what? Number five, we hear about a kingdom. Pop culture equates being with God with heaven, which is often understood to mean something vague, like sitting on a cloud in the sky, maybe with a harp. A kingdom is actually different. There's a sense of reality there. You get an image of a ruler, a realm over which he holds sway, and a real exercise of that government. We don't see that in the world today. So what's the deal? And number six, finally, we're told that the kingdom isn't here yet, but that it's coming. God chooses and rescues people to be with him in his coming kingdom. This speaks of the end, or perhaps better, of what one Christian has called the end of the beginning, because all history is really a trailer for the eternity that's coming.